Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. These are the post-fight reviews for the Doran Krasmaru and David Adelaide fights, which featured on Frank Warren's comeback card in the United Kingdom on BT. So we'll start with David Adelaide, who was the co-main event on this card. This first card back, he was facing Matt Gordon. This one was over relatively early. It wasn't scheduled for a huge amount of rounds, but all over inside two rounds, David Adelaide stopping Matt Gordon. From the outset, David Adelaide looked like a coiled spring. He wanted to put the hurt on Gordon, tracking forward, crunching left hooks to the body, looking for the right hand later in the round, and it was a continuation in the second round. Good body work and looking to put a, a beating on Gordon, get him out of there. Ultimately, he was able to bail him up in a corner, land some bludgeoning shots, ultimately drops Gordon. He beats the count, but the referee doesn't like what he sees, waves it off. So not a huge amount of action in this fight. Obviously, David Adelaide facing relatively low-level competition at the, this point in his career with the win advances to 2-0. But overall, it was a good performance. David Adelaide, you know, relatively patient in there. His first fight, if you caught that one, he was eager to get the stoppage. There was that same sort of eagerness, but he was pecking his shots better in this fight. And some of those left hooks to the body were really vicious and that sort of finishing sequence that dropped Gordon and ultimately the ref waved it off it was just a series of you know really heavy shots and Gordon hit the deck and it was all over overall David Adelaide who's starting to gain a bit more buzz and profile he looked good I would hope to see him again in the next uh, several weeks. There's obviously these other shows that are going to be on. This is the first of five shows that Frank Warren has announced. Hopefully Adelaide will feature maybe on one of the back-end shows, say in a month or six weeks or so. Daniel Dubois is in action on August the 29th. So realistically, he could get another little camp in and have another fight. You know, clearly Adelaide is always in shape. You know, he was 219 and a half pounds for this one, completely ripped and ready to go. So I don't think a short turnaround would be an issue here, especially given the level of the opposition. And he defeated Matt Gordon for that second win. And that was a, uh, a win that the other heavyweight on the card, Doran Krasmaru of the Ukraine, has also had. That was his second pro fight, Krasmaru, who was in against Phil Williams on the second fight on the card. So Krasmaru, as uh, many of you will know, he has been in the Peacock Gym working with trainer Martin Bowers. He has been sparring Daniel Dubois, helping prepare him for the Joe Joyce fight. He's been in there for, for some time now working with Dubois. And in the past week or two, his name's got a bit more uh, sort of uh, mention and buzz through the media and sort of the boxing fandom. Because to be honest, not too many people really know much about Doran Krasmaru. He, heading into this fight, was 2-0. Obviously, that Matt Gordon win on his record, as I mentioned. David Adelaide now also has that as well. He was up against Williams, who, in this fight, which went the distance, Williams just resembled, for a large part of it, a walking heavy back. Had the high guard up uh, for much of it, you know, put the earmuffs on and really just let Krasmaru work him over. Krasmaru, you know, right from the get-go, good jab. He was uh, landing the odd good body shot, decent sort of um, technician overall. But there were times where Krasmaru was guilty of going headhunting, wanting to hurt Williams, get him out of there, get the stoppage, keep the, um, the KOs uh, coming on his record. This one goes the distance and it visibly... Krasmaru looked disappointed at the end of the fight that he wasn't able to get him out of there in the four rounds. It was a clear one-sided display, 40-36 to 36 on the scorecard, and ultimately uh, Phil Williams didn't show much ambition until about the final 60 to 90 seconds in the fight when he thought, well, actually, I might throw a few punches here. So the negativity didn't exactly help Krasmaru, but, you know, 
I think he could have done a little bit more working the body to try open Williams up because he was visibly hurting Williams to the body at times and I thought he just could have invested a little bit more and maybe that would have opened up something upstairs but he did you know a little bit guilty of headhunting but this was the first good look that I had of Doran Krasmaru but overall this was a good win it was a learning fight and we have to keep that in mind and there is going to be instances as a prospect where you can't get your opponent out of there and it's a good lesson that you know maybe he has to tactically just mix it up a little bit more than he did because clearly after about round two it was obvious you know how this was heading what was happening the heavy bag tactics of Phil Williams and he could have opened him up in a different way but you know it's a learning fight after all first good look at Krasmaru as I said you know on the strength of that performance yeah I wouldn't say that this is a guy that I'm just like wow this is you know a must watch heavyweight he's going to do amazing things in the heavyweight division I just need to see more before really getting a good read on him he looked okay you know good skills good jab you know good right hand he looked pretty good in there for the most part against a relatively negative opponent but two heavyweight wins on this Frank Warren card for prospects you know who I want to see more of and I think we will in the next sort of um, month or two but what did you make of it drop a comment loud and often hit like hit subscribe follow me on twitter boxing underscore squared I'm out